Hello, my name is Mark Snyder, manager of the Process R&D Applications Group for BioRad Laboratories. I will be talking to you today about BioRad's new ultra-high capacity ion exchange media, NuviaQ and S. Today's topics will include a brief introduction of who BioRad is. I will then launch into the benefits of using Nuvia media for biotherapeutic purification, followed by a brief summary. First, who is BioRad? BioRad is a company with 50 years of purification excellence. We have bioprocess service and support worldwide. We feature a line of chromatography media, including Affinity, Mixed Mode, and Ion Exchange. And we supply media and hardware from pilot to commercial scale biopurification processes. Now let's discuss Nuvia S high capacity ion exchange media. First of all, Nuvia S has passed the screening phase and has been selected by various companies as the best performing ion exchanger. The performance attributes include the highest binding capacity at high conductivities, which gives you the ability to load onto the column without inline dilution. Excellent separation characteristics, including 95% purity when used as the initial capture step, and the ability to remove various colored contaminants in transgenic plant expression systems. This shows the binding capacity for monoclonal antibodies on Nuvia S, and I want to bring out several points. First of all, the binding capacity for monoclonals on Nuvia S is on the order of 150 milligrams per mil, which is extremely high. Second, the binding capacity is maintained over a fairly broad range of conductivities, from about 4 to about 13 millisiemens per centimeter, which approaches that of tissue culture fluid. Here we see internal as well as customer evaluations of Nuvia S. As noted in the red rectangular box, the 10% breakthrough capacities on a variety of monoclonal antibodies is in the range of at least 100 mg per mil, and in some cases approaches 180 mg per mil. On the right-hand side, you see the conditions used for these studies. I want to point out several things as indicated in the circles. First of all, some of the captures were performed at high pH, around 8. Second of all, other captures were performed at conductivities approaching or exceeding that of tissue culture fluid. Next, we see the selectivity of Nuvia S when used as a capture step for monoclonal antibodies, in this case an antibody we call MAB-R. Following flow-through, the column was washed with buffer B and eluded with buffer C. The SDS page gel, shown in the inset, indicates a 25 kilodalton contaminant was present in the wash fraction. When this 25 kilodalton band was further analyzed by Maldi Toff, it was discovered to be a light chain fragment or FAB fragment, indicating good separation of this contaminant from the intact antibody. This is confirmed by HPLC SEC analysis, shown in the lower right hand corner of the slide. Nuvia S can also be used to remove aggregates. This chromatography was performed using a monoclonal antibody known as MAB1. Here you see the elution and the strip fraction. The elution fraction contained the monomeric form of the monoclonal antibody. The aggregates were contained in the strip fraction. This is confirmed again by HPLC SEC as shown in the upper left hand corner inset. The load contained approximately 5 to 6 percent dimer plus aggregate, whereas the elution fraction contained much less, around 0.5 percent. One of the questions that has been raised is whether or not this aggregate removal is maintained over a wide range of loading capacities. The table on this slide indicates that this is indeed the case. Loading anywhere from 10 to 100 milligrams of antibody per mil of resin results in an aggregate content of 0.5 percent or less, with the starting concentration in the load being anywhere from 4.5 to 6 percent. Good recovery of monomer across all these loading ranges was also obtained. Finally, one important attribute for high capacity ion exchangers is their ability to be cleaned and reused over many cycles. This shows human IgG elution and strip peaks over 50 cycles on Nuvia S, and you can see the cycles overlap each other quite nicely. There is no degradation in peak elution shape and no change in strip peak size, indicating that this media can easily be cleaned for at least 50 cycles with no degradation in performance. So in conclusion, what can Nuvia S provide for you? It can provide high binding capacity for monoclonal antibody purification, between 100 and 180 mg per mil for protein A capture monoclonals and other proteins evaluated, and the ability to clear monoclonal antibody fragments and aggregates. 
It has good tolerance for moderate levels of salt. Nuvia S has been used successfully by several customers for captures at greater than 100 mg per mil at conductivities near or exceeding tissue culture fluid concentrations. And it shows excellent reproducibility and base stability. Now let's discuss Nuvia Q high capacity ion exchange media. Here you can see the uptake kinetics for Nuvia Q. Compared to older generation anion exchange media, the batch uptake kinetics are about an order of magnitude faster on Nuvia Q than they are for other Q type media, in addition to having higher capacities. Static binding capacity experiments, such as this, show that the binding capacity for bovine serum albumin is 350 mg per mil under static conditions. These data display the pressure flow properties of Nuvia Q. Here you see that even at 1200 centimeters per hour, the back pressure is maintained at 3 bar or less, which is one of the more common practical operational constraints for large scale processes. At typical operation pressures of 1 bar or less, you can still have flow rates of 600 centimeters per hour, indicating that this media can be used at very rapid linear flow rates and still have low back pressure. Next, you see the effect of these rapid flow rates on dynamic protein binding capacities. You can see, going from a range of 150, even up to 600 centimeters per hour, there is minimal decrease of only 10% in dynamic binding capacity. Again, Nuvia Q can be used at a very rapid flow rate with minimal changes in performance. Nuvia Q is primarily used for intermediate purification of monoclonal antibodies and other proteins. The results of Nuvia Q used in a flow through mode are shown here. On the left hand side is a chromatogram showing the monoclonal antibody coming out in the flow through fraction and the impurities recovered by sodium hydroxide strip. In the tables on the right are the results of clearance of host cell proteins and double stranded DNA from three different types of loads protein A as well as other ion exchange media. You can see that Nuvia Q successfully removes host cell proteins to relatively low levels and double-stranded DNA clearance is below detection levels, irrespective of the concentration of this impurity in the various loads. This chromatogram shows the ability of Nuvia Q to separate proteins with very similar isoelectric points, in this case, beta-lactoglobulin and alpha-lactalbumin from whey proteins. Here you see using a segmented salt gradient, you get baseline separation of these two proteins in spite of the fact that these two proteins have very similar PIs. The SDS page gel in the bottom right of the slide confirms the baseline separation of these two proteins. Nuvia Q, similar to Nuvia S, is extremely stable to hydroxide. This chromatogram shows the resolution of standard proteins as a function of storage time in one normal sodium hydroxide. As noted in the table, even after 336 hours, or 14 days, there is no change in the separation properties of these marker proteins, indicating very good base stability. In conclusion, Nuvia Q has high protein binding capacity with very fast dynamics, efficient clearance of host cell proteins and double stranded DNA for intermediate purification when used in a flow through mode, excellent protein separation when used in a bind dilute mode, and stability to repeated exposure to one normal sodium hydroxide with consistent binding capacity, recovery, and resolution. In summary, Biorad now offers two very high capacity ion exchangers. Nuvia S, which can be used for capture and or intermediate polishing, and Nuvia Q, which can be used for intermediate or final polishing. The benefits of Biorad Nuvia Media are high binding capacity, which leads to high productivity, rapid binding kinetics, which leads to fast flow rates and hence very rapid speeds of processing, wide design space across various pH, conductivity, and flow rates providing operational flexibility, utility across a variety of applications, such as separation of proteins with similar PIs and the purification of monoclonal antibodies, providing you with good separation performance. Finally, excellent base stability, leading to robustness and cost savings. On behalf of Biorad, I'm Mark Snyder. We would like to thank you for taking the time to learn about Nuvia q &S Media, our newest line of ultra-high capacity ion exchangers please visit biorad.com slash ad slash nuvia for additional information and to receive a free sample of Nuvia Media.